All right, folks, the deck is Rainbow Death Knight. The goal of the deck is to play a bunch of minions, generate and spend a whole lot of corpses so that we can make a big climactic necrotic explosion to blast our opponent in the face with. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Scenarius, guide me to victory. Play well or be eliminated. Sure thing, buddy. Uh... Thanks, Hearth. I, 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 you aren't letting me, though. Okay, we've got a decent curve of the mining casualties into the Acolyte, which has apparently been nerfed. All pirate rope today, right? Um, yeah, of course. There might actually be some, but no, not at first. I personally prefer the giant ruffle. It makes me feel like I can expect more expressive reactions from you. How's that? See, even small Raffle has expressive reactions. Acolyte now has two attack from three. Have you thought about Wild Odd Rainbow Aggro DK? Not until just now. You're, I, I feel like. Rainbow Death Knight is more wants to be a mid-rangey deck, which is why it probably doesn't fit well in Wild. But that's just like my opinion, man. What does that card do? Reduce the cost and oh, it's in small one. Okay. One Bonk. Bonk. Then draw a card. Hey, look at how cute. Does this have a battle cry? Destroy the enemy minion with the most attack! Okay. Hey, welcome, routine. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Have you thought about even Death Knight? One mana, one, one going face every turn. I mean, I, I, sin, sincerely, everybody has thought about even Death Knight since the moment Death Knight was released, and it was like the one playable deck in Wild for a period of time. Uh, so yes, but I'm not alone in that. Uh, thank you, Sir Unicorn, and thank you, Courier. Or welcome, Courier. Six corpses. Have you thought about Death Knight? You get corpses and can use them for various effects. Wait, hold on. You're telling me that there could be a class in Hearthstone called Death Knight? No. Don't be silly. Have you thought? <laughs> no, I'm a streamer. I don't. <laughs> I'm not here to think. Have you thought every thought possible? If so, please report to the FBI for committing thought crimes. I would never. I, again, I haven't thought any thoughts. I gave up that capacity once I uh, became a streamer. Thank you, Dog is Head Cigarettes and Ghost of Monty. What's this do? In plus one spell damage or draw a spell. So I assume a spell was drawn. Mind if I roll need? Look, I really, really just want to play this horseman. Time waits for no one. I recognize there are probably stronger plays for me. Have you considered Mon? I've heard that they got some good cards this expansion. No, that's next expansion. Have you thought about Hearthstone? It's a card strategy game based off World of Warcrafts where you either spam meta and ruin everyone's fun or play cheese decks that ruin everyone's fun. I'm pretty sure you have that backwards, it's... Have you? Can you? Uh, Balatro be boring. 1-1 one, one going face. Corpses. Even and not Free super chats. Balatro do be ballin'. Uh, thank you, Top Deck Lethal, for finally talking some sense in. Ooh, animation. Okay, bye, head. 
have you? No. I wouldn't dream of it. Thank you, everybody, for the bits. Now stop giving me money so I can play the video game. What did I just say? Have... No, I lost them all. Thank you, Ghost and uh, Top Deck. Oh, welcome, Skellifier. Mind if I, roll knee. I sure do. I do... What does this do? Spend five corpses. I don't have that many. Deal three damage. So, I mean, these two are definitely going face. What if we go with this? Into a hero power for Frost. Mark of the bitter. Which is indeed the mark of the bitter. I kind of want to save the uh, reduction for that. So that we can hero power play this next turn. That's, uh, what, uh, 12 damage? Nice attack. We for vengeance. Pow! I do. Bam. Still very satisfying, it turns out. It's been a while since I streamed Barstone. I forget how certain everybody is in their card predictions with for cards they haven't yet played with. I just need an early game, especially against uh, Hunter, I think. It's a pretty good curve. They love a little fiddle. It's been a genuine shock to me to see how many times I've seen people insisting that Mr. Bones is good. It's insane. I did actually recently win an off-stream run as a result of Mr. Bones, but he was one polychrome and it was the shot before the extra large big uh, boss blind. So it's like a very, very, very specific case. And still, it was honestly just kind of okay in that context. One more death can't hurt. Battle. Okay. No one's going to believe this. I play Hearthstone a couple hours a week. I'm sure my opinion is just as valid as someone who does this well professionally met. for dozens of hours a week every week for literally years. Look, I'm not even saying that I'm right. I'm saying that, like, the correct actual take is, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and neither do you. <laughs> that's, that's what we're all here trying to figure out, right? That's all I'm saying. Not that I know better. Everybody's opinion before getting to play with the cards is about equal, in that we're all relatively ignorant. Oof, that could be nasty. This is a great top deck, though. If we're making predictions about the expansion, then I predict that it will reunify Ireland. Sure, I'm likely to be as wrong as everyone else, but just imagine if I'm right. 
One day. One day we will reunify Ireland for sure. Thank you, Kali. Uh, I've got a couple options here. I can hero power into Stitch Giant, obviously, to cash in on the corpse spending that I did here. Or I can just draw some cards, which I think is pretty good. I won. Well met. Ten months. That's like two hands of months. Thanks for the entertaining vids on YouTube. Have you ever just like kind of like looked at your hands though? Uh, thank you, Ian. Appreciate the ten months. I think despite the fact that we're ahead here, the opponent is still long term the aggressor, and so that's why I made a more passive play here. Cat. Bat. That was really sad, by the way. I do not like hearing those noises in my Hearthstone game. Okay, here I have probably just one option. We just make big numbers, right? Till death do us part. Maybe this will matter if they have, like, a removal spell. Phenomenal. Piggy. Batman? I do. Donk. You either die as the Death Knight or live long enough to see yourself become the Horseman. I haven't reattached his head a singular time yet. <sighs> I don't think it's going to happen. But I don't think you need to in order for the Horsey Man to be good here. No one's going to believe this. None can stand against Defensive formation, champion. You could use a trim. That eight. Asphyxiate eight plus five armor is decent enough. I mean, the hero power is also extraordinarily good, too. Ooh. Monkey! We just dome him. You weren't even necessary this time, buddy. You came too late. Relatable. Look, it's not correct to do, but I want to keep the horse sea man every time. Uh oh. They banging. Your deck has three shaming quests. I can't imagine that being too good. Begin! Th what? <laughs> oh no. Battle cry and a Murloc? No, no, that can't be. That's impossible. Uh, me when I'm cosplaying as uh, Luke Skywalker. Kill that next turn. 
The important thing was getting the uh, underbelly angler off the board because that's too much value. Funky. Okay. It is fine by me. Do one of these. Do one of these. Bump here first. Trade over this. It's got a decent chance of hitting mine. Thank you. Triple Quest looks so fun. Having played at Triple Quest, I believe even in Shaman, I can assure you that no. <laughs> It's not. It is funny. They bring a bunch of these Murlocs back into their core set or something? Actually, get our corpses back up. Go here. Nice. Kill this off before it gets any bigger. Send this guy upstairs. Yeah, this is a much better version, obviously, because you don't have to dedicate three card slots and three opening hands card slots to uh, to quests. So it's definitely an improvement, but. Scar Jill. Okay, so we kill that, and then save this for the Mega Buffoon next turn. Bonk. 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 Does Whizbang have Flurgle Talks? I don't know, are these... these... Clearly are not just standard cards, right? That's so funny. <laughs> Thank you, Joshua. <laughs> oh. All right, we want to start working towards closing out the game with the uh, hero power into C and E. Hi, Zilliax. This looks awfully familiar, doesn't it? To yeah, so fresh. I mean, there's also just a strong possibility we get lethal here. Can't believe you've done this. Take a good look. You ain't never seen very dead or alive. Well met. Loving seeing the new cards and loving the content as usual. I hey, appreciate that, Min Maxing. Thank you for the eight months. Wait, I should I haven't checked these emotes yet. <laughs> Little psychotic. Not gonna lie, but I appreciate it. Managed to prime myself away from Blotra just in time for Primus value? I mean, same. Same. Up here. Up here, I'm still playing Blotra, though. So if you see me, like, digging for cards, it's because I'm looking for the Ace of Spades. Well played. You are a worthy foe. Bonk.
Okay, let's follow our curve here. Steam, oh. Sorry. <laughs> Is that good here? I'm not too worried about it. Is it a persistent effect? Yes. I think we just make use of the coin here and take that off the board. Or no. Are there are no frost spells? Uh no, there are not. There aren't worth frost spells worth running. And I have to run ten cards from the new set. So and bunch of stuff it gets added despite not being super synergistic for the deck. So builds today are not going to be optimal, likely for anybody. I think it's one third of your deck to a single expansion, unless that has like a parasitic mechanic, is not likely to be optimal. Got this weird tension between these two right now. I think we probably want the uh, zombie tank first, though. Just so that we can continue protecting the panner. And they themselves generate corpses, whereas the corpse husband doesn't. Hit this one. I mean, pretty much the expected outcome. Let's uh, get this down to start cycling. Our advantage is in cards right now, so we should embrace that. Hey yo! Five corpses for a three-two taunt, kind of expensive though. IMO. Okay. You are lacking in corpse spenders in every format right now, so. But especially standard. Also, the point is to uh, ramp up the CNE in the Stitched Giant. Probably meant as a card to you hand buff from the devs. I mean, that's part of it, but it's also doing just fine in my deck. Thank you. I guess just Jin now. Play well or be eliminated. Look, we're keeping the horsey man, and we're gonna be emo spamming. One of us will emerge oh, he banging. Seven copies of Astral Automatons? That's illegal. Stellar. Appropriate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but appreciate it. 
Okay, we probably just throw out the uh, Acolyte of Death and then look to rotate some crops afterwards. One more death. Imagine crop rotation with the Threads of Despair. I could destroy my board repeatedly. I did that wrong. Everyone panic. Okay, now stop panicking, you weirdos. Alright, what does this get? Rush, Reborn, Lifesteal. There's at least one more of those in hand. Look, I don't know how to play this card yet. But this seems like it'll do a lot of things, right? Pew. Pew. Uh, not quite enough things until... We do one of these. <clears throat> okay, so it's not Defile. Wait. Hold on. Pause. But that means... YouTube comments lied to me. And now I'm dead. Well met. Only 20 more months till my next joke. Maybe rough patches. You'll get there in no time. Thank you, Anubinator. Appreciate the 49 months. Till death do us part. Boy, those uh, extra automatons were certainly something, weren't they? Wait, how can this be an in-game theory crafting event? I thought Mac had died or whatever. Yeah, I think he's just in a coma though, uh, so so it's it's still in good taste to uh, continue doing it. All right, um, 